<laughs> oh, Mr. Mixius Pitalik. <laughs> oh, hi there. I'm the Savage Chuck. You might remember me from such videos as they mocked my flash belt buckle and Aquaman is not gay. Well, I'm here with a more serious topic. In March 1955, something happened in the comic book world that would change the landscape forever. Of course, I'm talking about the landing in a rocket ship from the planet Krypton, albeit late, Superman's dog, Crypto. There goes Crypto, there goes Crypto, Superboy, Super Dog. Out in space, hey, look at him race, at his master's command. With his cape and trailing, he goes a-sailing, look out below, he's gonna land. It seems that before Jor-El, sent baby Kal-El off in that rocket to Earth. He needed a test subject. Sadly, he used Super Baby's dog. Now, little Kal-El, that was Super Baby's real name, later to be Superman, Super Baby's dog, Crypto, was that test subject. Jor-El was kind of a bastard, but be that as it may, out of tragedy, something good happened, and when Superboy was a teenager, the rocket ship landed, and out popped his dog. Now, because Superboy's dog came from the planet Krypton, he was bestowed with the same powers that Superboy had. He could fly, he had x-ray vision, he had heat vision, and, uh, did I mention super strength? Yes, he had super strength also. Super hearing. If a dog's hearing is that much better than a human's hearing, then a super dog's hearing is even better than a superman's or boy's hearing. Crypto even had adventures with the Legion of Super Pets, Comet the Super Horse, Streaky the Super Cat, Beppo the Super Monkey, and Proddy and Proddy 2 from the Legion of Super Heroes. It was Chameleon Boy's pet. Comet the Super Horse was kind of Supergirl's boyfriend, kind of her pet. He was a centaur who wanted to be a man, but uh, it's really complicated. The Streaky the Super Cat, on the other hand, Supergirl had been experimenting around with some kryptonite to try to find a cure for kryptonite for Superman, and, uh, well, Streaky the cat started playing with it and got superpowers and, well, that's pretty much all you need to know about that. In the 1980s, tragedy struck. T'was the time known as Crisis on Infinite Earths. Once there were many Earths. Then, because of the Anti-Monitor, there was one Earth, John Byrne. We did the origin of Superman, and he got rid of Crypto. Why, you bastard, John Byrne, you, sir, are a bastard. I hate you, John Byrne. A bastard! <sighs> no, no, Crypto. Damn you, John Byrne! Damn you to hell! But then, in the late 90s, something wonderful and miraculous happened. Crypto was brought back to us. If you think that a dog who wears a cape and can fly is too silly to be in comic books, then you should not be reading superhero comic books, okay?